All right, what's up you guys? Asani here, AKA DJ Big House. Yo, I'm back with you with another video tutorial. And today, yo, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to design your own flyer. So if you're a DJ, singer, rapper, dancer, whatever, this video is just for you, cause I'm gonna show you in such an easy way, my graphic people is not gonna like it. But yo, your flyer is gonna look professional. It's gonna be ready for promotion for the next day. You know what I'm saying? So in this video, all you're gonna need is a couple of things. You're gonna need a picture of yourself. So if you don't have that, you may take the cell phone or a camera and take a shot of yourself make sure you look good in it and then also you're going to need some type of photo editing software i use adobe photoshop so if you want to follow along and you don't have it you may go to adobe.com download their free trial and start working with me if you like that software buy it it's awesome you know what i'm saying so without further ado if you're ready to start promoting yourself and building this flyer let's get into this video All right, you guys, here we are in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and create a new document. All right, the document I like to create is a uh, perfect size for like Instagram and like Facebook and stuff. So it's like 18 inch by 18 inch. Give it a 300 resolution. All right, and uh, you have a perfect square here. So what you wanna do is turn this square into black. So go ahead up here and grab your rectangle tool and go to this corner all the way down to this corner so you can have the dance ants around the whole entire square as so. Now we wanna grab the paint bucket tool. If you don't know what the paint bucket tool is, just hit the G on your keyboard and it'll bring up the paint bucket tool. And there, and it looks like this. Some, some people's stuff might start off with gradient. So you wanna make sure that you have the paint bucket uh, showing here when you hit G. All right, and then change this, this square to black. All right, just like so. And then make sure you're on the paint bucket tool and just click anywhere in the black and it give you a black square. Go ahead and hit Command D as in dog on your keyboard. If you're on a PC, it's Control D and that'll get rid of the dancing ants. Hit V as in Victor on your keyboard. That'll give you a selecting tool and there it is. All right, next thing we wanna do is uh, grab our picture that we took. So you wanna go to wherever you saved your picture. All right, and I saved my picture here. And as you can see, I took a picture behind a solid color as white because I have a lot black on and it'd be a lot easier for, to cut myself out of this picture. So if you wanna do that, uh, help you out, it'll save some time, go ahead and pause this video take a picture behind something solid that way you don't have to you know do a lot of work all right I took a few of these pictures and there was one that I like this one right here go ahead and grab that one open it up in Photoshop all right there it is what I like to also do is create a copy of the picture that way if I mess up I have another one and just go ahead and shut that one off and make sure you own this one and what we're gonna be doing right now is cutting myself out of this picture. Normally I use the, the uh, pen tool, but uh, some of you guys might not be professionals at this point, so I don't wanna confuse you and make things hard. Uh, so we're gonna be using a magic wand. All right, so the magic wand is up here. It's called, it's a W. Hit W on your keyboard if you can't find it. Um, there's a couple of them here. There's a quick selecting tool and there's a magic wand tool. So you wanna make sure you come over here and uh, click the magic one and then when you hit W on your keyboard it'll bring up the one that I'm using okay all right so just want to make sure you guys are on the same page all right so what you want to do now is click anywhere in the white and then to select the rest of the white just hold down shift don't let go and select all the white like so make sure you don't have no particles dancing nowhere all right, and we get in here like so. Get in there between my fingers. I'm not gonna worry about that one. I'm not gonna worry about here. This color is almost like the same color as my arm, so it will affect it if I touch it. So I'm not gonna do that just yet. All right, so now you can let go of shift and then come up here to select and hit inverse 
And what that's gonna do is gonna put the dancing heads just around me only. All right, so hit V as in Victor on your keyboard and that'll give you your selecting tool. And all you wanna do now is just drag this guy over to your new document. Bam, all right. Now I wanna get rid of that thing on my arm. If you have like stuff that you don't want, this is a good way of doing it. You can either use the eraser tool or like the lasso tools. Like this lasso, any lasso tool will work just fine. So uh, I come here, start, and just just touch anywhere that you wanna get ready to erase. You don't wanna like get rid of most of the jacket or whatnot or whatever you got or you're getting rid of or the arm. So just just go along the bottom of the line and you know, you don't have to be too, too perfect, but you wanna make sure you get it right. Now, the dancing that's uh, happen once you connect to the, at the beginning start, and just all you have to do is hit delete, and there it is. Second thing I would like to do is uh, make this picture a little, you know, bring out the blackness in this, color, in, in this picture. So go ahead and hit image at the top, adjustments, and then click on levels. And from the left to the right, you make it darker, just like so. Kind of bring it out just a little bit. It's like working in Lightroom, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to show you guys something easy, something cool. You just make the adjustments to your liking and when, it, when you found the, the right color and the lightness that you like, there it is, pop it in, all right? Cool. All right, so I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit. Now what I wanna do is make this picture big. Not too big, but I wanna make it big. So I'm gonna bring my arm in just like so. And then drag this guy up just a little bit, kind of like that. All right. And now let's bring him back just a little bit, like so. Uh, about right there. That looked good. Perfect. So it's kind of like right there. All right. Now, remember I said at the beginning. I'm gonna do some things that some of my graphic fellow mates ain't gonna like. I'm about to create a, I'm, I'm, I'm about to create something where this guy is coming out of the darkness, coming out of a shadow, you know what I'm saying? And there's other ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you a real easy and cool way. And a lot of people wanna agree to this, but I'm gonna show you anyway, okay? So what you wanna do is grab this rectangle tool and then make sure that the color, the fill is black and then go ahead and drop down all the way to the corner. You don't have to go all the way to the corner, but just about that much, all right? And then let go. Now, we wanna make this rectangle, uh, you know, edible. So what you wanna do is go get your eraser tool and then see how you can't do anything. Just click anywhere. And then when this question pops up, just go ahead and hit okay and it'll bring your eraser tool in. Now we're able to erase this rectangle tool. All right, now a couple of things you need to do before you erase, just go ahead and right click on your mouse or your whatever you're using. Uh, make sure you got the soft brush, soft round brush. Make sure your size is at 1760 pixels and then drop the opacity down to at least 15 so you won't erase real fast. Now what you wanna do is barely brush. Don't like hit hard, but just barely brush. And it is just start revealing stuff. You see what I mean? Just barely brush, that's it. Not too hard. Cause this, this eraser tool works very good. And you wanna get it to where you're revealing just a little bit like I'm coming out of a darkness. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of cool. All right. You know, keep it, keep it. I, I like to do a circular motion. That way it, it, it will get almost everything. Now, don't keep going this far in. So, cause you'll, you'll erase too much. You actually want to get it to where it's still a little darkness back there. So about right here, I wanna make sure that some of my face is kinda of clear as much. Some of the hat is clear, you know, and some of the jacket is clear, you know. 
make that work just like so. But it kind of make it look like I'm coming out of the darkness. It's an awesome way of doing it. You can also like hit the selecting tool. You're still on that. And then you can drop the opacity down a little bit if you want to. I mean, that's too much. But kind of sort of like, like, like so. If you want to do it like that, like 90%, you know, make it look like you really coming out of some type of darkness. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to keep it at 100%. Well, uh, I'm going to keep it at 100%. All right. And then what you also want to do, what I'm, what I'm going to do is take it and uh, select both of these and drag it over just a little bit because I want a little bit more room there. Just about right there is fine. That's perfect. All right. Cool. All right. Now we got our effect going on. Again, like I said, a few people ain't going to agree with that, but this is a nice, easy way of doing it. Like I'm coming out the darkness. All right. So anyway, if you have a logo, let's grab that logo. If not, you can create your own. Just type in your name, whatever your DJ name, whatever your dance and rapper name, whatever you got going on, just type that in. But I have logos, so I'm going I'm to go ahead and bring that in. The way I'm going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and import it. You can, I mean, not import it, but you can place it, embed it in, okay? And then I'm gonna come here and grab this logo. It's called DJ Logo 2. Go ahead and embed that one in. Put it to where I want it. And say, okay. And if I wanna bring it down just a little bit, I can. About right there. That look good. All right. Perfect. All right, so now we ready to just start building this flyer to make it look good. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a text. Now, if you want a, the same type of text that I'm using, you can also go to uh, Google and hit free fonts and you can grab all the text that I'm using like from these free, you know, fonts or whatnot. All right. So the font that I'm going to be using is called uh, Scorched Earth. So let me go to text and there it is. It's called Scorched Earth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this color up here to white and then bring my text size. Okay, we'll leave it at 72 for now. And then what I'm going to type in is this Saturday because I'm DJing this Saturday. I'm um, gonna leave everything caps. All right. Let's see, Saturday. This Saturday. All right. Go ahead and select that. Okay. And then I'm gonna make it just a tad bit smaller. So let's bring it down just a little bit. About right there, a little bit past the hand. And then I got a little lag going on here. Okay. You know. Okay, there it is. Let me go ahead and delete, you know, take this out since we're done with this one, okay? You can do the same if you're having the same issues. Um, maybe because I'm screen recording as well. Um, I'm doing this on a Mac Mini too, so I don't. It's not a beast computer. I should have did it on my PC though. Anyway, uh, just making that a little shorter. And the next thing that I'm gonna type in is uh, October 13th, because that's when I'm DJing. It's uh, October, so go ahead and get your selecting tool and then type in whatever you want. I'm typing in October. October 13th, perfect, all right, and then I'm going to do something cool for this one, um, but let me shorten it down just a little bit, so I'm going to use the, this guy, let's see, is that good enough, huh. this lag is really killing me. Might speed that up just a little bit. Let me see. Uh, let's bring it 
down just a little bit more. Okay, cool. All right, so now what I want to do with this, uh, first, what we're going to do, we're going to make this interesting looking, okay? All right, so this Saturday, October 13th, and then what we want to do now is grab this rectangle tool right here. Go ahead and click it. Make sure your fill is white or gray, whatever color you want. And then create, see the size of October. You want to create that size and drag it just right on top of October, just like so. See that? All right. And then what you want to do is come to your layers and make sure that October 13th is on top. Go ahead and select that and then get your text tool. Hope I'm not moving too fast. Do command A to select it all. And then you want to come up here and change the color to black. And there it is. Hit, hit OK. And now we got us a nice looking thing going on. All right. Cool. All right, we'll make adjustments, make things look straight or whatnot at the end of this, uh, this but we just wanna get our words in right now. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna drop into some time lapse because I already showed you the base on how I'm gonna put the wording in. So it's just gonna start like Saturday in October. It's gonna go down the line exactly like that. I'm gonna change up a little bit here, maybe add in some gray, like the logo, like DJ Big Hoss with the 9 p.m. and then maybe uh, all drink specials are free. So other than that, that's all I'm doing at this point. And then after the time lapse is over with, I get back right back with the video, all right? So it don't look too busy, but this is something that will get you guys going. So we got our logo. We got what it says this Saturday, October 13th at Boondocks, 9 p.m. 21 and over, no cover charge, drink specials all night. Here's the address. Make it clear and good. You want them to make sure they can read it, and there's the number. All right. So next thing you want to do, go ahead, come here, hit save, and then you want to save this as a JPEG. So you want to bring it over here to the desktop so you can find it quick. Save it as a JPEG and then name it whatever. Boom Docs uh, Flyer. Perfect. Go ahead and hit save. And it says, do you want to replace? Yes, we do. You can make the quality 12 or whatever you want, or whatever your preference is. Go ahead and hit OK. And there it is. I'm going I'm to do more videos like this, show you different ways of creating a flyer. This is one of a cool way of doing it. Um, you can also create flyers in a 5x7, 4x6 uh, uh, format as well. Because you want to pass them out five by six is a good size for a flyer if you want to pass it out or whatnot you can make it landscape or you can make it portrait either way those are good uh, sizes to use as well all right so if you guys make flyers or whatnot share them with me i want to see what you made i would like to see it i want to become a fan of your your work as well all right so i hope this helped you out you know keep giving them life rock them parties <laughs> yo until next time Peace and be wild. Big Hoss is out.